What's up everyone? 90% of real estate professionals struggle with their social media presence. It's been the hottest topic in business for a decade. So why do so many people struggle? I'm here to tell you that there are only three reasons professionals struggle with social media. Everything else is an excuse. Think you know what they are? Well, let's see. Reason number one, lack of knowledge. They don't know what to do. Reason number two, lack of confidence. They don't believe that they can do it. And reason number three, lack of execution. They haven't taken the time to build the right habits in their business. Usually, everyone stumbles around for a little while and after a few failed social media campaigns, they throw in the towel and then they give up. Does this sound familiar? Well, what if I told you that social media is nowhere near as complicated or confusing as you think? What if I told you that with just a few small changes here and there, you could actually find a return on your social media efforts? I can hear it now. Mike, what the hell are you talking about? Well, hear me out. Since day one, we have been taught to do social media the wrong way. We've been convinced it's some confusing mystery that only a teenager can master. The reality is, Social media can be easy, effective, and most importantly, fun. And it's actually very simple. All you need to do is understand a few basic rules and concepts and just be yourself. Seriously. Here's the deal. Over the last four years, I've interviewed over 400 of the most successful real estate professionals in the capital region. I listen to their stories, what drives them, what inspires them. I also ask them, which strengths brought them their success, as well as the challenges they currently faced. Three answers continued to come up again and again. The most common strength, passion, the fuel that drives every top producer to find success in whatever they do. The most common challenges, you guessed it, time management, social media, the two topics that continue to be discussed, mastermind, brainstormed, explored, constantly debated, but worst of all, they are neglected. But what I found most interesting was the difference of social media use between top producers in their business. I realized the use of social media did not determine the level of professional success. There are several people at the top of the board who never use social media and then there's others who rely on it for their business exclusively. The level of disagreement over how important social media was in business stood out to me as strange. And then I start hearing people say things like, I know it's important, but blah, 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 blah. Now people are trying to rationalize their reason for not using social media as a tool for business, but they are acknowledging its value in the same sentence. So I became curious. I learned as much as I could from those who had the best success with their social medias. I studied how they post things, how they use the platform to communicate with their social sphere. And I also experimented with my own social media, trying to build a solid organic following, all with the goal of spending the least amount of money possible on paid ads and boosted ads. And over the years, I've been able to perfect our social media strategy using everything that we've learned, figuring out not only what works, but more importantly, why it works. And slowly, over time, through this trial and error, we're able to build two successful businesses using strictly organic social media methods and strategies, techniques. Eventually, we developed our own innovative, one-of-a-kind, proven social media strategy termed the ORF strategy, and in the last three years, our page has grown to over 2,000 followers. We've reached over 150,000 people, and we've spent a grand total of $167.33 on paid advertising. Let me repeat that. We've only spent $163.33 on boosted ads in the last three years. So here's my question to you. Why do you struggle with social media? Is it a lack of knowledge? Do you simply not know what to do? get frustrated investing time and energy into something that just doesn't work? Is it a lack of confidence? Do you struggle like many with your appearance or sound of your voice? Do you think that your life isn't interesting enough for other people to care about? Or is it a lack of execution? 
you know what to do, but you just can't seem to get moving. If right now you're thinking none of the above, I struggle because of a lack of ability, I just can't do it and I won't, then I hope that you can reflect and realize that anyone can be good at social media. You just need to take the right steps, follow the right playbook, and, and find your individual success. If you understand that you can learn how to make social media easy, effective, and fun, then you're in luck because I'm creating an in-depth video series where I will share with the community everything we've learned over the last four years, sharing all of our secrets, and I'll be doing this 100% for free. Why? Because when we collaborate, it gives us the opportunity to learn from each other. And that's where great things come from. So if you're interested in learning our social media methods, strategies, and secrets, let me know. And we'll be sure to keep you posted. And if not, well, you'll just see it on Facebook anyway. So I can't wait to see what we can create together. Stay tuned, everybody. Have a good one.